Hi everybody, this is Ajay from Ora 600. Today I will talk about how we can take the help of MTT Advisor to set a proper value for the fast start MTT target initialization parameter. The range of value which can be set for this parameter is between 0 to 3600, which is in seconds. Setting a proper value is important. If the value for this parameter is high, then the instance recovery times can get longer. If the value is too low, then a lot of overhead would be generated in terms of I.O. due to frequent incremental checkpointing, which causes the database writer processes to write dirty buffers to data files more often. Before you set this parameter, make sure that the following three parameters are set to zero. Otherwise, uh, this setting will not work out properly. Before we can take the recommendations from the MTTR advisor, we have to set an initial value of fast start MTTR target. The first step is to determine the lower and upper values of this parameter which the database can actually achieve. This is because for example if you set the fast start MTTR target to 1 second that does not mean that the database can actually do an instance recovery in 1 second. To determine the lower achievable value, first of all set the parameter value to 1, then start or bounce the database and immediately execute the below query. The target MTTR figure here is what the Oracle database can actually achieve in terms of instance recovery timings. And the estimated MTTR figure has been calculated by the database based on the dirty buffers currently there in the cache, which are very few, as the database has just started. This value keeps on changing depending upon the workload on the database. More dirty buffers in cache would lead to a higher value. To determine the upper value, set the parameter to 3600. Start or bounce the database and let it run for some time and experience peak hour workload. And then execute the following query. The value you would see for the target MTTR would be the higher value which the database can actually achieve. Once the lower and upper values have been calculated, the preliminary value can be selected based on the following preferences. If your concern is fast recovery times, then set a lower value. If your concern is related to database performance, then set a higher value. Once the parameter has been set, also make sure the statistics level parameter is set to either typical or all, as it is the first prerequisite to enable MTT advisor. And the second one is fast start MTT target, which should be greater than zero, which has already been configured. Now let your database run with the newly selected MTT values for at least one week so that database experiences all the different workloads and captures relevant information from that for MTT advisor. After one week, you can query the V$ MTT target advice view using the following query. Now based on the output of this query, you can choose a value for MTT target anywhere between 39 to 372. If you're not really sure about what to choose in terms of database performance or instance recovery timings then you should always go for a value which is somewhere in the middle so that you have a balance between performance over at hand instance recovery timings. Well, I hope you liked this video. Let me know if you have any suggestions or queries. Signing off.